yo guys, what is up? It's your boy, Royko64 here, back again with another video. Today we got something real interesting here, okay? This is gonna be something a little bit different. Something a little bit different here. We have the Lima One. It is, uh, best way I can describe it, it's an automatic mowing solution for up to 1.75 acres. A lot has happened in my life since the last time I've actually uploaded a real video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're still achieving in life and you're doing everything that you can do in this short life that we have. But today, purely this is going to be an unboxing of the Lima One. Uh, I'm not going to do anything in this video that actually shows the processes or anything like that. If you would like me to make a video showcasing that, be sure to let me know down in the comment section if you guys are interested. I thought this was too random not to at least do an unboxing video for it. And to be blunt, I've been working way too much to really upload anything in terms of videos or or anything like that. So this is my this is my shot to just have fun again and make a make a little unboxing video for all the people that used to be subscribed to my channel. I know that there was a lot of uh, tech unboxings and reviews. This is something that I've been really interested in. Obviously, this is no sponsorship or anything like that. I haven't uploaded in forever. So this is just purely my opinion only. Uh, nobody's paid me to do this. Nobody's paid me to do anything. I'm doing this purely for the fun of it. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So let's look at this first. The Lima One Perimeter Wire Free Robotic Lawn Mower. It's got a lot of cool features, but let's get into the actual unboxing of it here. This thing's an absolute behemoth too. I mean, this thing is this thing is like 120 pounds. So if I could give any advice to uh, Lima, let's uh, come up with a little bit of a uh, better solution to hold the bottom and the top together. I mean, you guys probably use some cheap plastic bands or something. So I would suggest like getting some staples for that because who knows if shit got stolen from my uh, package. So, open it. So there's nothing else in here. We're gonna throw it to the side for now. Okay, let's get into the guts here. What do we got? So we got a giant, we got a giant fucking poster for the quick start guide. So that's pretty cool. And it tells, I mean, this is the, this is the biggest packing slip I've ever seen in my life, right? But at least it tells you everything. So you can see, oh, that's the scan to download the app. So I, I know that the app is going to be essential to actually using this thing. But you can see on this poster here, if it doesn't cut out with the chroma here, we have mounting pole for RTK station two. RTK antenna, the RTK station, the Trident ground stake for the RTK station, ground stake for charging station, wall mount bracket for RTK station, expansion bolt for wall mount bracket. We got the actual charging station itself, charging station power supply, RTK station power supply, and it's all together right on this piece here. So that's pretty much all of it for like a quick start guide. I'm gonna set this to the side. We got a bunch of cables. So these are for all the RTK stations, I assume, and the charging charging station power supply. Things aren't individually labeled, but I'm gonna put all this together too, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video. But first thing is just a bunch of cables, some of the stakes here too. So this is the RTK station in bag still. So this is the Trident ground stake for the RTK station. Definitely, definitely can see the Trident in that. We got the wall mount bracket for RTK station right here. I'm gonna set that down to the side so we can get into the actual thing itself. This thing is nuts, man. Look at the size of this thing. That's incredible here. I'm gonna put this to the side. Look at this sitting next to me. I mean, I thought this is gonna be like, just from my perspective, this is huge. This is a massive piece of equipment. I was expecting it to be much, much smaller, just off of gut feeling. But this thing is huge. And so it looks like the, the actual thing's on top of the charger. So we're gonna have to lift this off of its foam. I mean, this, this is nuts, man. All 
All right, so the charging station itself is unbelievably light. I mean, unbelievably light. This thing weighs nothing. And that's a good thing. I mean, I don't, I don't need it to weigh a ton. I just need it to be able to charge the, uh, the mower. Look at that, man. Look at that. That is just, it's incredible. So one, one reason that I needed to get this instead of one of the other options is because it can deal with a crazy uh, decline or incline. So my property has some pretty big slopes. And so it'll be a good test to see if this thing can actually handle it. And uh, it doesn't, you know, fall over or get stuck. But just after looking at this, I didn't believe it. I didn't think it would be able to do it. But after looking at this now, I'm like, oh my God, this thing is a literal tank. I think it will be able to deal with it. I'm actually, I'm actually just completely in shock with this. This is so cool. So this is it. It's pretty freaking cool, if I have to say so myself, man. I mean, this thing is nuts. I was not expecting it to be this large or this heavy. So my, my goal with this is to have something that uh, can mow my entire property, so I don't have to use a, use a, like a sit-down mower. I think it would save a ton of time for me, and I'm super excited to try this with the app and see how everything works. But I'll also add some shots of the... Uh, of what this looks like too, not just on the unboxing camera, so that way you guys can actually get a proper view of it, because I can already see the chroma keyers kind of messing with this a little bit, the colors. So, I mean, really, I can turn off the chroma keyer now too, so, but it's still unbelievable. This thing is freaking cool, and uh, I can't wait to test it out, and then hopefully show you guys what it can do. Well, that is something, man. That's really fucking cool. All right, well, I'm gonna try setting up the app and then I will see if I can get this thing turned on in this video, but that's pretty much it for the unboxing. I know it's been a kind of a short one. I know I haven't posted videos in forever, but I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing great things, continue to do great things, and potentially I might have a, a little bit longer of video here to show the app and everything, but for now, Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. One thing that I figured out might, that might help you guys out is the battery's not actually connected when it first comes out of the box. So it's in the actual casing here. You press this down to release this uh, cover. Then you pull this. After pulling this tab down, you can pull this out like so. That's the battery. And then you have to connect this blue piece to this piece here. So let me pull this out a little bit more. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little bit awkward, but. So you press it in like that, make sure it lines up correctly. And then it looks like we're good. So we're gonna push it back in. And then we're gonna charge it for the uh, like four hours or whatever it needs to charge. And then you just screw it on. So really straightforward. A lot of easier to do with you when you have both hands available and working, but that's snug, that's on. And then let's get the antenna too. So the antenna, you just, which actually is right here in the box. You screw this on like so. And then once you have it fully in, you can get it to whatever point you want to bend it to. And then there's your RTK station and antenna. Attention, lawnmower starting now. 